February here in the Brainerd area. Has an unusual crunch to it. Not exactly textbook hibernating weather. Very different from our snowshoeing days a few years back. You can still keep coming with us, but just we'll try to keep it at a real low tone. When bears tuck into their dens for the winter. Okay, we'll keep going until we're perpendicular. Dr. Andy Try gets to work. Traversing the state, checking on dens to see how the bears are doing. Snow or no snow. Oh, she's in that mess. Of course she is. Today, we're expecting to find a mama bear and her yearling. Let's leave everybody here. It's going to be real loud. The beeping lets him know we are getting closer. We hang back. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? As the experts zero in on her den. I'll take a look and we'll see how it goes. It's just all legs, but I got her. Once she's down. She's pretty mad. We'll wait till she goes down. We get the all clear to move in. Okay, Paul. <sighs> He's just a fat bear. Yep. Yeah, watch your footing, slips, trips, and falls. This is where we found her. This is where she decided to make her home for the winter. What we find here inside her den is pretty textbook. So this is BR23. Uh, she's a four-year-old female. This is her very first little baby. Except her little baby isn't so little. Ready? Holy bucket. 93. I mean, almost 100 pounds. That's a pretty big yearling. Something's going right. Yeah, very good food <laughs> year for sure. That may seem surprising given our persistent drought, but when it's dry... The oaks, which are our primary food species for bears, get real stressed. And when that happens, they drop a lot of acorns. The perfect snack for a hungry bear. We also had perfectly timed rain, creating a berry bounty. Everybody seems to be in really good shape. Cub survival is pretty darn high on the bears that we visited so far. We also wondered, does a warm winter... It's been weird, yeah. ...change their annual slumber? It doesn't, really. The females are sticking in their den, even with no snow on the ground. There will be bears that uh, den above ground, even at 30 below. So they're just extremely resilient. They are beyond extremely resilient, yep. Even with green sprouts pushing through dried leaves, Tri says it's still probably not worth it for the mama bears to come out early. You're going to lose more calories than you're going to gain. It's an energy conservation measure. In fact, it seems there isn't much that will rattle Minnesota black bears. I think bears are probably going to be a climate change winner because they're just so adaptable. Um, but the landscape, you know, moving forward is going to change dramatically. For now, most, like Bear BR23, are doing just fine. The kids are all right. In Brainerd with photojournalist Joe Berglove. They're one of those charismatic species we have here in Minnesota. We're just so lucky to have. Aaron Hassanzada. The future is bright. WCCO News.